Now there's a demonstration of using the uh, HPing3 tool towards uh, uh, what is called as a reflected DDoS attack. Now, what is the reflected DDoS? In the reflected DDoS, uh, I, as an attacker, I will spoof my IP address to the victim's IP address. I'll randomize the destination. So the destination will respond to me, okay? Not me, actually, the spoofed IP address. The victim doesn't know that, uh, you know, his uh, system has been targeted. So what I can actually do is I can craft the packet in such a way that I can spoof the source IP and I can randomize the destination uh, in a range so that, you know, the destination will start responding to the spoofed IP address. And the spoofed IP address will not be in a position to take the tremendous load, okay? It will actually uh, go down, okay? Well, the comment for doing this is uh, HPing3. So it's anyway here. Yeah. So spoofing is 192.168.1.26. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to randomize the IP address based on the same range. Okay, so I'll say 168, 192. Okay, I have spoofed the source IP to 192.168.1.26. I'm spoofing the destination, okay, to the range that is starting from 192.168.x.x. And you had to actually specify the Interface if you are randomizing the destination. So I have specified E0. Hit the enter key. Let's get back to our Wireshark. It's okay. Let me stop this as a POC proof of concept. Okay. So 192.168.1.26 is my spoofed IP address. If you look at the RAN desk, okay, it becomes 192.168.56.136. 192.168.90.84.190.172.128.12. Okay, so the destination has been uh, has been randomized. Okay, so this is a, a proof of concept for the uh, reflected DDoS. Okay, thanks for watching this video. Stay connected.